back over there. Yeah, it's back over there. It's back over there. Hey, it's me, your good buddy, Matt D. It's a hot one today. Weather-wise, not episode-wise. Uh, go find it. Go find it. Uh, your good buddy, Matt D, once again here. In the beautiful Game Garage. You know, sometimes I think about the title Game Garage, like, maybe that wasn't the greatest title. Maybe just going on a title, like, literally off the cuff. Like, off the top of my dome as I'm shooting a video without, like, seeing if there's other Game Garages in the universe. Maybe that's not the greatest idea. I don't, I don't know. I'm just speculating off the top of my dome as I like to do these videos sometimes, all the time. But today, on top of just talking about the game garage in the game, in the game garage, we're once again talking about Nintendo DS games. And today we're talking about Age of Empires, the Age of Kings. Uh, I think there's two of these games. There's a version, Age of Mythology, I think, where you get to be... Zeus's and Odin's and you know like uh those kind of guys duking it out. Age of Empires, the Age of Kings, based on the best-selling PC game rated E for everybody by Majesco Entertainment. Uh, we're gonna get into this whole PC thing in a minute here um because I'm gonna be honest I did not get as far in this game as I did this game. Straight up. Got pretty far in this game Ooh, not so far. There's like five or s s five, five different, um, I'm just not reading that off the back here. Command one of five different civilizations. Britons, Franks, Mongols, Saracens, 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 that sounds closer, and Japanese, period. Bullet point. Take control of hero units. Like Richard the Lionheart, Joan of Arc, who I've played as, and Genghis Khan, period. Bullet point. Turn-based strategy system. Bullet point. Command over 65 diff 65 plus sign uh, different types of units. Bullet point. Four-player combat scenarios. I did not play any of the multiplayer. I've only kind of gone into the single stage, uh, 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 events. Ta well, I, I've only taken command of a classic army and defeat your enemies. I did that a couple times. Only a couple times. In the deepest battle strategy game on the Nintendo DS. Trademark. Dominance of the known world is literally at your fingertips. Here's some stuff on the back. It's like you, like, your armies against their armies. That's kind of what you're playing on. Moving your guys around. Da, 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 da. That's all they're talking about. You know, actually, and, and this is back, by the way, real quick, and D, DS games, they always give you just these really nice fatty booklets. And actually, the only thing I really want, but they don't always, I know a lot of times I am CIB, you know me. And a lot of times I don't mention why that's kind of fun. This time I will. This weird little important save game instructions. Before starting the campaign, make sure that your empi empire name, uh, save file name, is four or more characters in length. To edit empire name, select user profile, then select edit profile and enter name. This will avoid any loss of damages. Thank you for playing Age of Empires, the Age of Kings. Uh, which I like as just a fun little... Maybe, uh, ooh, snap. Uh, we fucked up. There's possibly a bug. Uh, anyway, fun detail. I think that's fun. Who knows what that really means? Someone out there, if you know what that really all means, uh, please comment down below. Anyway, let's get into this game. I'm not the best at your strategy RPG games, your strategy type games. It's not really RPG. You don't really... I guess you can buy armies and... Uh, not really leveling system, which I've also played. Uh, but I'm not the greatest of those. It's kind of like, you know, 4D chess, really, because it's really like the same kind of things. You just got to know who does what, where, when, and why, and what happens in those scenarios. You know, you move to the mountains and you can see farther, but you can't move as far. And maybe your archers can shoot farther, but 
I, I don't know, man. It's, you can see where it's all going with this. Uh, I just played, there's five stages. I played as Joan of Arc, which is like the tutorial. It's actually kind of a lot of fun. I like being Joan of Arc. Uh, second quest, you had to go get a sword. I still was getting my butt kicked in the tutorial sec, still, still in your tutorial second quest. I made it into my tutorial third quest, and then I was kind of like, shit, I don't want to get into building towns and around towns and like fortress strategy. Uh, I'm just going to get way too involved. with this game and I just don't want to do that right now uh, and then that gets into what I was talking about with based on and oh, by the way look at these real quick on this illustration look at these chins and cheekbones I can't stop looking at these noses chins and cheekbones I don't know something about them it's but this this guy's beard doesn't help me I don't know anyway this right here based on a pc game award win anyway which makes it super fun like i but not a great handheld game this feels like it was made in the era of pc games where like maybe you'd go over to your buddy's house because like maybe your buddy had a computer because like you certainly didn't um you go to your buddy's house and he'd have like maybe like five-ish games and like one of them maybe would be this game and his stepdad played it a lot but like fuck it let's play this game and you would play 45 minutes to an hour to lose the campaign you go over to his house and be like hey man i'm just gonna hang out and watch you play get you see some maybe some little animations see some like fun little sprite animations and they are like all these like little sprite animations for these like dudes like are super i mean you can't really see them but you can see the paint underneath my fingernails because i've been house painting um yeah, they're just super, super real fun, fun little details. There's, I can't get enough of them. It reminds me of battle chess where you just want to see rooks fighting knights. Because what, what does that look like? What does it look like when a pawn takes down a queen? What's that animation? Um, yeah, so all the animations are super fun. But all that I have to say is the campaigns are arduous and long. I skipped up ahead so you can start at the beginning of every campaign, whether you've uh, progressed that far or not. You know, and I was like, like level three, a medium. Uh, one of the parameters to get extra gold is to win in under 30 rounds. So that means you're probably the first time you're going to do it. You're going in for at least 30 rounds, which again, I'm fine with. It's, it's actually a, a fun, a fun for this kind of thing. It's fun and engaging, and I was, like, really into it. I just didn't want to play, for, and this is the kind of player I am, more serious, casual. I just didn't want to, like, dump in 45 minutes to lose. I, I will tell you right now, I'm not going to win this current scenario. I got, like, it started building towns, and I was already just like, get, like this is going south. This is going south. Fast. Uh, that's all I have to say. A lot of fun, takes a lot of time, and man, if you ever want to see another uh, video game review, I, dude, I decided I decided to finish this game um, or just get through it. Uh, up ne <laughs> up next, unless I alphabetically something else goes wrong, is Alice in Wonderland, which is a game I've actually already beaten. I can't believe I'm already telling you that, but that's super fun. So I can get that one out a lot sooner. But you don't care. Why did I even mention that? And it's you feel compelled to give you more content, whether you're asking for that content or not. It's a weird phenomenon. Lape shape square chip 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 pop 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 pop